Welcome to MMB Radio, the online podcast hosted by yours truly, Mixmaster B, where no topic is too big, too small. We talk about them all. And today, I'm excited. I got Kenzie Taylor. She's an adult film star who uh, has an interesting story, how she got started. And we're going to talk to her a little bit today. Um, and if you want to share this podcast, I always encourage everybody to share because sharing is caring. Make sure you send it via tweet, Tumblr, Facebook. Um, you can go ahead and use the hashtag MMB Kenzie. That's K E N Z I E Kenzie. So hashtag MMB Kenzie. So everybody can go ahead and listen to this podcast. So um, with all that said, make sure you also check out our sponsor. For today, our sponsor for today's podcast is Armorall Original Protection Sponge. Protects and preserves your car's rich look with the most trusted name in car care, Armorall Protective Sponge. You can get more information about them at armorall.com. With that said, let's welcome her in right now. On the phone lines right now, I have uh, adult film star Kenzie Taylor. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Uh, thank you for calling us. I know you're, you're currently on set right now, right? Yeah, with browsers in Vegas. Very awesome, very awesome. So it's early out there. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> now, do you uh, usually start that early in the morning for a shoot? or? Um, every shoot has a different call time, but um, most of them provide hair and makeup, so we have to get there pretty early and get everything all set up. So now are you getting hair and makeup right now as we talk? Um, I'm about to in just a little bit. That's very awesome. So if you were just going to be sitting there, it's like, you have to feel like a big time Hollywood star where they're just doing hair and makeup <laughs> as you're like doing interviews and talking to the press. But um, <laughs> yeah. so uh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a stereotypical, I would think, you know, being an adult film star, you just wake up whenever, go to the set whenever. But oh, not at all. It doesn't work That's that way. Actually, it's way different than what people think. It's extremely professional. Everybody, you know, we all, we are always. Uh, we have a call time. We have to be there at that time. It's, it's very professional, and it's, you know, black and white. There's Everything's all set up, and you just have to be there. You know, it's a job. So. Now, how did you get into the adult film business? Like, what, uh, what routes did you take to get into it? Well, um, I actually um, worked as an entertainer at a club in Tampa, Florida, and I met Bonnie Rotten there when she was doing a, um, a feature dancing performance. And she had kind of told me about um, a agency, which um, Jack Spade owns, which now I'm actually a part of. Um, I'm part of Adult Star Models and hopes to get to his biggest agency, which is Galvaria, which is where you can catch girls like Kendra Luft, Jessa Rose, um, Brandy Aniston, girls like that. So. so it was that simple, and then he was just like, hey, might as well just shoot <laughs> it, was, it was really simple, I would say. Um, I had to you know, I had to get in touch with a lot of people. Um, I had to send a lot of photos. You know, um, I had to set things up to – I had to travel all the way from Florida to L.A. to meet everyone because, you know, you have to meet people face-to-face -face because sometimes their photos, people look a lot different or – some people, I can edit their photos, so I had to go all the way out there and meet everyone, and, you know, they all really liked me, and I went ahead, did a photo shoot that next day, and I signed my contract and started <laughs> that week. That's so cool that you could just be like, okay, tomorrow you're, you're come <laughs> on in, and we'll just shoot a, you know, a boy-girl scene, but, uh, yeah, so, I uh, wouldn't necessarily say it's easy, that's for sure, um, you know, it's it's a it's definitely a process, and it's it's not just something I guess you can just walk right into. I mean, I I definitely worked really hard to get where I am so far, and I'm gonna work even harder. So, um, you are an adult uh, entertainer, uh, dancer in Florida. So, I guess it it came naturally to be naked, or um, to me, definitely. I um, just from a young age, I I noticed, you know, when I was you know, 15 years old, I was starting to experience my sexuality, and I really just love, I love men and women both. I think that our bodies are just such a wonderful and beautiful thing, and we really should, you know, be able to explore our sexualities and do what we want, and I just really love that. So growing up, uh, you said 15 years old, like, did you have 
um, I guess, any interest in porn? Like, did you watch porn? Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, I always was huge into watching girl-girl stuff, but now I've kind of branched out. Um, I actually like a lot of fetish stuff now. Um, I like a lot of bondage, um, just different things like that. Now, is that stuff you would like to shoot? Um, I've actually done some bondage stuff already, and I've done some fetish stuff. I've done um, a lot of uh, foot fetish stuff as well. It's a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> now, what it's is a whole different world. <laughs> what is your favorite types of scenes to shoot? I mean, I guess bondage, is that your favorite, or do you have uh, another preference? Um, I wouldn't really say I have a favorite because I'm extremely open-minded and... I think I'll pretty much try whatever until I find, like, my niche. But um, I would say so far, I mean, that's been my favorite is, you know, working in fetish stuff and bondage for sure. But I don't really want to say I have a favorite yet, but so far that is it. So at 15, you're starting to experiment with your sexuality. How old were you when you lost your virginity? Um, at 16, I did. Now, when did you get into the whole, like, fetish thing? Did you kind of do that, too, as a kid or teenager? Um, I never really did that when I was younger, I guess. Um, that was more along the lines when, I guess, probably around when I was 18. And um, I actually had a friend that was big into going to, like, uh, fetish uh, conventions and stuff like that. And she had told me about, you know, tying up and mouth gagging and blindfolding and how, you know, great it increases things while you're being sexual because it's just very intense. And I tried it out and I loved it. <laughs> now, was she your first uh, bondage experience? Oh, definitely. <laughs> so she opened you up to that whole world and... Yeah, <laughs> by far. Now, we got to find out where this girl is because she's just turning people <laughs> out. Uh, she's in my hometown in Michigan, so, and I'm going to leave her unnamed, but she is very beautiful. <laughs> so, um, when you lost your virginity, was it with, a, you know, a boyfriend? Like, where was it? Yeah, um, it was actually so cliche. Um, it was with my very first serious boyfriend on Valentine's Day <laughs> at his house. Oh, so that was a nice little gift. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Definitely. my dick in a box, you know, here you go. <laughs> Well, I wasn't in a box, but definitely was there. <laughs> so how did the family react when you told them you were going to get into doing uh, porn? I guess they already knew you were doing exotic dancing, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, they are they were kind of wishy-washy about it, but um, when I explained to them how professional it is, and, you know, we have to constantly be in our A game, we have to constantly be getting tested for different STDs and all of these different things to make sure that, you know, nothing's wrong with us, that our health is 100% because, you know, we're using our bodies and we need to make sure that our bodies are completely healthy for anything. And once I explain that to them, they, they really realized how professional it really is. And, you know, I'll never forget, actually, one of them said to me, we all have sex anyway, but you just happen to be doing it on camera for millions of people to see, and you're getting paid for it. So there's really nothing wrong with it. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I, I can't argue with that. You're getting paid for it. I'm sure they're going to get some nice gifts out of it. So, um, <laughs> you know, the, uh, is there anything long term you would still like to do in the business that you haven't quite got to yet? Um, you know, I just really want to keep exploring my sexuality and just keep pushing myself to do things that, you know, I might have never thought I could see myself doing because, you know, getting to do stuff like that and just pushing myself will um, not only, you know, increase my fan base and just constantly get people to want to see what I have next in store, it will just get me further along the line of really... Um, like getting my career, you know, on the right path. I, I just, I don't want to be someone that does a few things and everyone forgets about me. I really just want to make sure that everybody knows, you know, I, I want to embrace my sexuality and embody my alter ego, which is Kenzie Taylor. All right, so because back. being being a sexual being is, you know, it's such a powerful thing. And being able to help my castmates reach their ultimate sexual peak and it always gets me off. 
accomplished. And, you know, after all, it's my body's contribution that, you know, allows them to reach their climax. Now, I was going to say, we got a couple questions from fans, and um, one of the questions kind of touches on what you were just saying. What gets you off? What gets you excited? Um, you know, this is, this answer is definitely black and white, but um, pussy and dick. <laughs> that's, that's a good tip. And oral. I, I love oral. There's, I, there's, like, nothing greater than being able to please someone and have them please you at the same time. So... Definitely oral is great. <laughs> now, is there one that outweighs the other? Do you enjoy giving oral or receiving it more? I really enjoy giving it, definitely. Okay. Okay. Do you have a special <laughs> technique that you like to use? Um, everything's different, actually. Every male is different. Some males, you know, prefer their, their tips touched more and stuff like that, and some of them... You know, like it shirts really hard. Some of them like their balls bottled more. It's always different. It just depends on the person. But uh, I'm just, I'm really good at it, I think. I've, I've never heard any complaints. So <laughs> I can't see any guy complete. So um, another question. This one, it kind of, it always cracks me up when people ask this. What you want to know is um, what's the largest that you've ever had? As if you measure before you go in there. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I don't really go up to, you know, the, the male talent and I'm like, hold on a second, got to go get my tape measure. <laughs> but um, if I had to, like, estimate, I would say probably, like, nine so far. Now, is that about average in a business? Like, what's the average size? Um, I, would say, I would say seven and a half, definitely. Now, do you think you could handle more than that, or? Um, I I think I could. I would definitely have to, you know, uh, prep myself with buying some bigger toys. But uh, I mean, I think I could. You know, it's, your pussy is such a magical thing. It's 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 all muscle. So it's as long as you you know treat it right, take care of it, and get it prepared, you'll you'll be good. <laughs> you know, I was thinking the same thing. I was like, you know, Kenzie's pussy is such a magical thing. <laughs> you know, and I was so excited for this this interview. I was like, it's such a magical thing. It's like, it's like a, it's like a unicorn, you know? I'm having a unicorn <laughs> on the podcast. Um, so uh, fans want to know, what is a normal day life, a day in the life of Kenzie like? like? Do you get up in the morning, and when you're not shooting, is it pretty much a normal person day, or? Okay. Um, well, when I'm not shooting, I... I'm huge into working out. I actually just, I live at the gym. I call myself, if you look at my photos on Instagram or Twitter, I call myself a gym rat because I like live at the gym. Um, and I'm, I'm on a, I'm always on a strict diet. Um, I do not a lot of carbs and high protein. So I'm always watching what I eat, taking care of myself really well. I love doing things outdoors, definitely. You know, I'm, I actually just moved to Vegas. So hiking around here, it's beautiful um i love sports i'm huge into ufc football hockey baseball so i i watch a lot of sports i try to um go to sporting events a lot and right now i'm actually right by mgm so i'll go to the ufc price a lot and i usually you know i i get up around i would say probably like 10 i'm not like you know i'm i don't roll out of bed at like 6 a.m unless i have to for work I'm kind of grumpy in the morning <laughs> But other than that, I mean, I'm just, I'm a normal person. You know, I, I like to have fun and do different things. Well, I have to say you're very pleasant this morning, so we must have got, <laughs> you, we must have got you on a really good day. I had coffee, so. <laughs> you know what, that's what I'm, I'm having right now. I'm like, if I don't have coffee, the, the whole day <laughs> is just a shit fest. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, another fan tweets in, oh, what is your favorite position? Hmm. I would have to say, it's not giving each other oral by 69ing. I would have to say doggy. I love it. I love it from behind. It's so sexy. And, and if anybody has not seen any of her work, if you watch it, she's not lying. It is very sexy watching her get it from behind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um, a couple other questions we're scrolling through here. Um, this is a really good one. Do you have any celebrity crushes? Ah, 
Yes, I do. Um, Mark Wahlberg, I am obsessed with him. <laughs> like, literally obsessed with him. I think he is so handsome. I, I think the older he gets, the more handsome he gets. It's crazy. Now, could you you think you could pry him away from Jenny McCarthy? Uh, he's not with Jenny McCarthy. His brother is, but his brother is, is. That's he, right. Yeah, yeah. But he is married and he has kids. And you know, no, I don't think I ever could. And I don't think I ever would. But you know, it's always nice to daydream about. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking. Sometimes of you, have to, <laughs> you have to have things to think about when you masturbate. Sometimes, so. <laughs> well, could you pull Donnie away from Jenny McCarthy? Fuck it. Might as well just say that. <laughs> um. I don't. I don't know. I don't think. I. I mean. I think she's beautiful. But how how freaky can she get? You know. Well, would you so, want Donnie? <laughs> if he offered gonna be himself. Closer to Mark. They're gonna be closer to Mark. Yes. <laughs> but I'm only fucking you to get to your brother. Yeah. <laughs> I would lay that out right away. <laughs> and and he'd probably be like, "That's fine. Let's just you know, let's just do this." <laughs> Yeah. So everybody is really big on social media. Where can people find you at on social media? Well, I have a Twitter and Instagram. Um, my Twitter is at the Kenzie Taylor. It's K E N Z I E T A Y L O R, and if there's a the before that as well. And then uh, Instagram, it's Kenzie underscore Taylor underscore. Now, um, do you have an official website or anything yet? Well, there's my Adult Star Models website, which is www.adultstarmodels.com. Um, my fan website is actually in the works as we speak, so that will be up sometime within the future. <laughs> We're working on it. Somewhere into the dark galaxy of the future, you'll <laughs> yeah. be able to see. Kenzie. It takes a while. It's, it's definitely something that you know you had to be very tedious and make sure that it's just perfect before you launch it because you know that's that's that website is totally going to be for my fans so i just want to make sure that everything's perfect on it because i wouldn't be anywhere without the fans that i have i love my fans they're so great that would imply that there's some kind of imperfections going on and i don't think there's any imperfections going on with you so <laughs> this website should have been up last week <laughs> So fans want to know, um, is there ways that they can meet you? Do you? Are you planning on doing any conventions, any kind of autograph signings? Do you do uh, feature dancing? Definitely. Um, well, I don't do feature dancing yet. Um, I definitely plan to, but I just, I'm, you know, I need to get a few more um, things, you know, under my belt as far as work-wise, um, more experience, and then, you know, some more box covers. I'm already on two, but I obviously would love to be on more. Um but that's definitely down the line. Um, and as far as conventions, I'll be at ADM this year and I'll be at um, Expos. So both of those you can find me at. Well, I'll be at a booth. I'll be signing, um, meeting and greeting, taking photos, stuff like that. And it, this one, it was, it was kind of funny. This guy sends in a tweet. He's like, what would one have to do in order to be on a date with you? Like, are oh gosh! Currently, are you like currently involved in a relationship, or is that something you're not looking forward to? Or no, no, uh, no, I'm not. And I, I get that question a lot from people. I actually have a fan email, and I had someone email me, and um, they asked me, you know, I, I heard that you just moved to Vegas. You know, I live here. Would you go to dinner with me for X amount of dollars? Um, you know, I, I love my fans, but I. I can't if I if I started you know going out with them like to dinner or on dates things like that then I would have to do that for every one of them and you know my fan base is really extending so that would leave me no time to do my job <laughs> because I would just be like okay I have a date at this time this time this time this time you wouldn't be <laughs> so hungry be, yeah I would definitely and then you'd have to roll me out of the restaurant because I would just be eating so many dinners. <laughs> We can, we can see those pictures on Instagram of you doing <laughs> squats with, like, a cheeseburger in your mouth. Like, oh, my God. Mm, this is a little odd. Yeah. Well, uh, I, and the funny thing is, it's like you said a guy emailed you and wants to know if he could take you out on a date for X amount of dollars. And it's like, well, wait, why why are we mentioning prices right away? Like, yeah. I, just answer right away if, if you go out on a date, you know what I mean, and see what <laughs> your answer is. If the answer is no, then start offering money. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know why he was tweeting to me. I guess he was a little shy and bashful to tweet you. So he, he tweeted me for me to ask you. So there, that mystery guy, I won't put you on blast out there, but um, now she is currently not taking dating appointments. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one, was it was kind of along the same lines. The guy was like, um, if if he ever met you, could he have a hug? <laughs> Oh, definitely. Sure. I'll, That's I'll the first thing you. I'm asking for when I see you is a hug. <laughs> yes, I'll give a hug. <laughs> like, I've seen your videos, and I saw that you're a really good hugger. Could I have a hug? You know? <laughs> yeah. The guy That's obviously it. is not getting that far in the, in the video before, you know, reaching his point. <laughs> yeah. If he's, yeah. Only, if he's only getting to the hug stage. <laughs> So, what is uh, one last thing you want the fans to know? Like, is I, this is your time to send them a message? Um, I really just want to, um, you know, let all my fans know that I appreciate every single one of you. And, um, you know, I am a real person. Yes, I do work as, you know, a porn star. But I always try to reach out to you as much as I can. I check my email constantly. It goes to my cell phone. I'm always responding on Twitter. You know, I always do the best I can to respond. And I just, I appreciate all of you. And thank you so much. Very awesome. Well, we appreciate you calling in and uh, go get all makeuped up and <laughs> make beautiful right, thank you so unicorn much. magic. <laughs> thank you for having me. Not a problem. We'll talk to you real soon. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Kenzie Taylor, XXX performer. I'm listening to Mixed Master B on MMB Radio.